President Lee Myung Bak's decision to veto the controversial taxi bill on Tuesday means the Korean government now has until March to submit an alternate bill to Parliament. Na Kyung Yong tells us what kind of benefits the taxi industry could enjoy under the new proposals. Progress on the so-called taxi bill, which would grant taxis public transportation status, took a swift U-turn Tuesday after President Lee myung bak vetoed the bill and suggested making a new proposal that would grant a new set of benefits to cab drivers and their companies. The president said there are many other ways to improve the lives of taxi drivers. He also said it is desirable to choose the right path now to avoid creating burdens for the next administration. The new proposals include stopping taxi companies shifting the burden of transportation expenses to their drivers. The bill also contains various tax benefits for cab companies and compensation for firms which will have to reduce their fleets to prevent oversupply. It is difficult for us to treat taxis as a means of public transportation, but we are going to help taxi companies build public garages and establish welfare funds for drivers. The taxi industry is not impressed, though, saying the proposals are nothing new. Cab companies say they are already receiving tax benefits and compensation for the losses occurred from reducing the number of taxis. The drivers say this kind of bill has been proposed many times before but was never passed due to conflicts between different government ministries. The taxi drivers union says all 300,000 of its members will go on indefinite strike from February 20th if the National Assembly fails to approve the bill when it's put to a revote. Some 250,000 drivers will also attach black ribbons to their taxis from Thursday in protest of the president's move. Na Hyun-kyung, Arirang News.